Let's go, dude. <clears throat> Start game. Oh, God. This is going to be tough, man. <laughs> I look so professional now. Yep. See every time. Oh, God. The game will notice. See how this works? Try blinking on the white symbol. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when you see a metronome, it huh? will jump forward. Okay, okay. Keep blinking. Stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> Hello. I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, and blink over my hand here. You remember blinking, don't you? Oh, whoops. <laughs> that, ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. I forgot I need to move the mouse, too. <laughs> I'm just looking yeah, at it. I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. Oh. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? A notion? No, there's a better word than that. Ah. Premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? Big, scary one. It's by a massive uh, Bioshock. To see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the Bitcoin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> oh, weirdo. Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> I thought he was a cat. <laughs> uh. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but... I know how to spin a yarn, if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there, but understand, no matter how much you like it, <laughs> Why you're not going to be able to stay, <laughs> all right? Every time you blink, 
You're going to jump forward in time. Could be oh, a second. Shit. Could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. I'm fighting it. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> Maybe there's an achievement to be here for I'm like a minute. Touched. You enjoy my company. I really am. But I'll have to ask you to have some respect for the process here. Oh, it hurts. There is a dry eye in the house. Two of them. Oh, I got they one. To yeah. This guy, right here. <laughs> no, really, man. I need you to blink. Okay, I'm blinking. Three, two, one. Oh, this game is cool, dude. Try to enjoy it this time. All right, all right. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of so us. So this is our life, huh? Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. That's a nice, this is cozy. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? My kid? You see that big spiky plant over there? This is why the game makes you cry exactly. It makes you keep your eyes open. Right over there. That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. Day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. No, I blinked! They have me hey. too! <laughs> Go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. Oh me! I'm Benny. One year old, dude. Every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, that one really needs something. To see how he grows? Man, the zoom on this thing is fantastic. Oh. My left contact almost popped out. <laughs> Yay. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. Me. Give it time. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. No! Damn it! Look at chat. I can't look at chat. Don't look at chat. Yay! Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Uh -huh. Yeah. What do you 
think he's thinking about? Uh, I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. So, do you think he's going to be smart? I don't see why not. I mean, we're both pretty smart. This is like life flashes in the blink of an eye. <laughs> yeah, dude. but that doesn't mean he's going to be. I am smart. You're right. No. You're right. You know, it doesn't really matter, I guess, whether he's smart or not. As long as he's happy. <gasps> That's true. Uh no! No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Yay. Thank you for considering my peace job. <gasps> it really means a lot. Cool. Like, sometimes you blink without thinking, so... Oh, uh, it's hard. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. That's not what I made. Throw? I don't want to throw it. You know, if you keep working at it, one day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. You'll be a real artist. Unlike your poor mom. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck, this game is gonna be tough, dude. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. Scrapbook, huh? Alright. Baby Grand Piano, ages two. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. Oh. God. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. But if I get emotional, I'm going to keep blinking, dude. It's going to be so hard. The cam. Basically, the cam is not my normal. It's, uh, it's in the game. The game uses a blinking mechanic. So, yeah. Uh, it takes my webcam, and because they know people stream the game, they've made it so the game takes your camera, and you can also display yourself at the same time. Like, it's, yeah. So OBS isn't using my camera at all right now. It's all the game. It's really smart, actually. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Hmm. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just came with him. Hmm. Like a human suitcase. I blink there, dude. But very faintly. All right. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? Yeah? What's up? I just don't want him to get attached. <gasps> Was this... Oh, even before it's an animal. Dogi. Richard. What the it's fuck? the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? No! Damn it! I, I, he was so cute. I blinked, man. Oh, he's allergic. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? <gasps> there you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? Do you remember how to play that one? Very good. Yay. Just one note different. 
That one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> She's sick, dude. Sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Allergic. She was in grad school studying composition. Oh. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. <laughs> Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. She dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? He's doing the triste emoji, dude. Oh. Hey, Ooh. you. Uh, Egypt is cool. I want to see the pyramids, dude. Now, you Egypt. know, the ancient Egyptians believed cats had godlike powers. We would have worshipped our little. Army. I want to go to both. Pla no, damn it! I was listening and I didn't think about not blinking. Hey, you. I want to go to Greece too. Like both of those places, I really want to go to. teacher for him what I, I mean in the city sure not out here I don't I mean I know someone who might be up to the task she's very gifted Richard no one in this town knows anything maybe I'll just have to do it myself damn it good idea I think that settles it okay. but who's this mysterious no. woman you're talking about oh god I hope you're not in love with her <laughs> you know I really was for a while, but then she revealed herself to be much stupider than I thought. Richard, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Katze! <laughs> uh, oh god, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry, I already did. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on oh, your desk. Oh, he's bigger now. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Billy, thanks for the 10 months. Thank you. Oh, come on, Katze. No. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, no, I... Why not? Oh. Okay. You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. The Vasa. Oh. Yeah. Let's 
Cool. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Mm -hmm. You know, my father once told me hey. when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Everyone's going to pass away eventually. You know, I might be a work of genius, just as I was. I think that's kind of the uh, thing of this game. Just life flashes before your eyes, man. Or like a... It's over before you blink or whatever. He said, Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Whoa. Can you believe that? That's a long time. I wonder if he'll even recognize me. Hmm. Benny. Oh yeah, I move forward if I do this right. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. Buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my! Well, I don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Where the fuck did he go? Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. Oh. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the back? Oh, the family. It would be interesting oh. at first, but. If you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. It's getting like a bit more like tense family life now, you know? Damn it. Yeah, the piano is covered in books and stuff. No! The sinuses would be eternally indebted. What did you just say? <laughs> no, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, honey. I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! Kid! Come to Papa! I know you're mad about last night, but this is ridiculous. What happened last night? Lost cat oh, Ernie! God. What? Well, if he survived that, I don't know how worried we have to be. Okay, well, let's take this seriously, okay? He has one eye. That means predators can come up on one side and he doesn't even know. Okay? Take this seriously. Ernie! Come on, dude! <laughs> so you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks oh. and then comes back with a huge belly? <laughs> Ernie's boy. And you're sure about that? <laughs> that I was. Uh huh. And that was based on. Say that one more time, sweetie. P hole distance from the butt. If it's further away or something, then it's one or the other. And what 
was Ernie's. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think about it. It just, it just happened. You just happened to find a stray hey, cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop out five no, more. No, don't fight. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you hated cats. For a professor of signs and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. Okay, that that's funny. That's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny, and I'm happy about that. Hey, you, you really can't have five cats around the house. It's just not sustainable. Put them outside or something. Yeah, we can find homes for them. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. What's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. Were you able to pick up the new book? Oh, she yes. preceded the oh, thing. Yeah, I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. That's what she Can't put a price on learning. Oh, my eyes are getting fucked. Oh, okay. Oh god. My eyes. Can I cheat? Ah. Oh. My left eye. Oh my god. Seems impossible God. that you could ever play something so complex. I couldn't even see chat. It got all foggy because of hey, contact. Hey, you. No, it stopped in the end, I think. That's why I blinked. But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. Start working on your other hand. I think I think I think I think don't blink. Two brackets on each side and two screws on each bracket. Uh, two washers on each screw. So that means we need eight washers. We have the quiz said find the arrow, it. and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Shit. Maybe I should remove my contacts for this. It would be so much easier. Congratulations, oh, fuck me. It. First of many, I'd assume. Look at this, dude. We're all growing up. Yeah, that's a funky one right there. I want that box full by the time I come in there. If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. There done that. This isn't my house. <laughs> it's not my house. Right, it's my house. You have five minutes to get down. I'll drive it back and you up there. It's not my house. It's not.
a place, Kate. Hey, you. No, god yeah, damn it. You. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy. I'm talking to you. Hey, you. It's so easy to just blink when you stop thinking about it. You just Why blink. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Oh. Okay. Chloe! Oh, shoot. I think I gotta go. But, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. Okay. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to. But you can try. I blinked! Damn it! I did! I thought I thought you would run up there. Free? Quiet, everyone. Oh okay, shit! Here we go, dude. Oh fuck! Here we go, dude. Holy shit! Wow, L. He's unbelievable. My god, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. Don't blink, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink. Richard. He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. No one really knows what it means. I don't think I blinked there. World Did I? I don't My know. name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in. I guess I did. I don't know. Hello? Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Dear weird neighbor kid. Okay, dude. I'm not weird. We're in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. Do not talk to me this ever. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines. No, not stare know. off into space. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, now I'm going to go on to maybe I should have put that higher up. <laughs> Chloe, tell me. What did the quote say? Oh, I, I got you. Um, those, right, I definitely know this. Those who cannot remember you the past are condemned to repeat it. Weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes, of course. So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. Oh, my That's God. right, right? Indeed it is. Though I prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. <laughs> if I we do my not talking brawl, but I asked you to, so. Mm, damn I tried it! I to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half suspect he bought it for himself. <laughs> I get into the story, so I stop thinking about not blinking. <sighs> the little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. A new conch testant has approached. At long last, your favorite conchters are ready for bottle battle for the playscape. Join Marcy and her four sad brothers as they search for their lost mother, the legendary Queen Conch. And trap gooey monsters with Dr. Ebb's patented seashells and coerce them into spectacular battles. Lobstar, clam dunk, shrimp, and barnacles. Barnacles. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anything else? Huh? I've definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. History class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? That's yeah. a very interesting detail. 
What? Do you Okay, fail? shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want this one. Maybe I'll use... Bait! Tickle stick. Where are you gonna tickle him? What? 19. Drawing. Yeah. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. Yeah, Not good at this. Me, though. Not you. I'm gonna kill you if you try to draw me. And you saw what I'm capable of in your backyard. <laughs> I'm drawing anyways. <laughs> Andy, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. I look so ugly. Ugh. <laughs> that was great. All right, we're good. It's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but oh, I just want no. you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. Oh, uh, we're moving. No, so I blinked because I got into it. You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. Whoa. If he's as gifted as you say he hey, is, you. shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. So, I understand you were a musician yourself. Where did you study? <coughs> Oh, Berkeley. But I was cult. in the composition department. Ah, uh, and who did you study under? John McDonald. Hmm. I understand he's very difficult. Yes. <sighs> taciturn is the word I use. Oh my god, my left eye is itchy. Taciturn. Yes. Oh. People have described me that way, if you can believe it. Oh, I would never say that about you. Thank you. I wouldn't either. You seem very warm. Oh. Very caring. Oh. 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 Last punch, 34. Thank you, brother. Whoa. As you can see, there's some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So yeah. no pressure. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. I'd just like to see you really rise to the occasion. Just this once. Oh I wish God. I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Crumple? No, I'm not gonna crumple it. Okay, that's it. Oh shit. Oh, days until audition 30. Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. that Ben you can talk to your friend after you practice no but but what if it it's Chloe dude no damn it I tried to answer it I tried I really tried okay okay oh my god is she really calling you again what, is she obsessed with you? Okay, mom, too far. So listen, I found a concert. What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. I didn't blink! No! A newbies in the presence of my aunt, who you remember I, I, I blinked, but I didn't truth think justice, about it. Would weigh the deceased soul against a feather? 
determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. Mm -hmm. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amamet, and she's got, and yes, that's a she, the head of a crocodile. Mr. Kedas. The what, there, what, there's something on my face. Though I would not say that to her face. Now, as you can see, she is ready to devour any... Tonight after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak judgment. out my house and go sleep on the beach. If you want to get sort invited, like draw me a picture me of Mr. Isaac feeling it. constipated. So I am not quite sure why I don't hear more frantic <laughs> scribbling right now. <laughs> Why is he so scared looking? Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. No! Okay, don't touch your eyes. Why are you worried about having him change schools? Yeah, Damn it. He's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game Just you bought keep your him. hands off the face, okay, all right? Listen, I don't claim to understand oh, no. the motives of children. Richter, no. Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, you see. Oh, I like Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Richard, how are you fun to turn the lights off? I hope someone in chat has like a copy pasta about the camera. They're, they're, it's the game using my camera. That's why it looks like this. I say turn the lights off, not just mom. Okay. It's supposed to be a nice day. No, it's not. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> Chloe, dude, let's go. Sneak out, try to sleep. Oh. I want to sneak out, dude. I do. Wow. Didn't think you'd actually pick up. I mistook you for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now, okay? Chloe. Mom and dad are fighting. I don't want to be here. <gasps> Look at that. Sleeping bags. You know, I'm really glad hey, you're you. here. There's Me something too. I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend. And he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese ha, game. Yeah. <laughs> he calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. True. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like, my favorite vegetable is a tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably hey, the you. least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most. Which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year, in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Just 
stay here. Yay. Probably didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all night. Oh You're already God. feeling sick, aren't you? Oh my God, stop. It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Oh no. Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. In your own time, Benjamin, oh, we are very excited to hear. Hands off face, dude. Come on, get it together, brother. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's enough. <laughs> Mama, no. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice? But I'm good. Yeah. As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student and i wish you the best of luck on your path wherever it may take you okay all right i i really want to thank you and your mother for coming oh all the no way out here. mom i know it was quite the drive maybe i pushed you too hard oh no Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something hey, to focus you. on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. Oh, I blinked right as that appeared. Maybe it doesn't matter though. Oh. Huh. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. Fuck, man. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Oh. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo. Okay? All right, all right. Oh, shit. Shit, is there gonna be like lung cancer or something? I wonder if I can blink now, probably. It's such a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah. I mean, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? Maybe? Hmm. After the game, Zero. It's all trash. Fuck litterers, dude. I hate littering. God damn it, I blink because I got angry. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. I 
Everyone's playing outside. I think it's working. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's working perfectly. Yay! Hey, you. Becoming an artist! Look at that, that's a good bow, dude. Why isn't your phone moving so fast? No. Whoa! <laughs> well, every piece of that shit, all he does is make art. Damn, dude! What about his piano? Good, dude. Hey, and Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first Woo! place. I really gotta thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera kid won over her multiple horse portrait that she literally just left with her dad in here. Oh, that was still good though. But not as good as mine. Fuck, I blinked! Damn it! In two short paragraphs, describe why you. Oh, shit. Uh, is there anything else to blink on here? Nice little advertisement there. here to learn to be painters you are here to learn to be artists and although I was hired to teach you it is a sham there is no teaching art so don't just sit there slack jod make art you ponies Jesus I art. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Oh. A lanky. Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. <laughs> this is great. Very zany. Very kitsch. Ah, shit. Where does this one go? Ah, damn it. I don't like cover his feet. I'll Lucky go up there. For you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. There's like death is like. Fuck! I, I got into it and I blinked. Oh! The hell? There you go, Mr. Brin. Huh? Feel each shape. <laughs> oh, you fiend. 
What the fuck? I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. Yeah, okay. I pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Brin. For I fear a talent like these may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. It becomes difficult putting one foot in front of the other when they are no longer touching the ground. sincerity of this piece is so sincerely <laughs> ironic. He split the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. <laughs> How much is he gonna sell this for, you think? It's gonna be something fucking crazy. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. Oh, and one little thing. Damn it. A birdie told me that Elba Preston Hooper gave you her card. Now, I want you to cut that card into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. <laughs> Elba Preston Hooper is not in the business of the arts. Elba Preston Hooper is in the business of business. And you, child, you are no business, man. You are an artist. Worry, you're not selling your soul. Crumple contract or sign contract. Uh, I mean, what other option do we have? You know, what other option do we have? We get, we gotta make a living. You know, I can't tell what it says. You know, can't read it, dude. Like, we, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, he warned us. He did say, like, she's in it for, maybe he can hook me up with someone else, you know? I mean, I wish I could see see what it said. Well, no, I that. Th You've crumpled my contract. I I I <laughs> did not mean that. Uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. But what's talent? <laughs> Listen, I wish you the best of luck. Okay. Okay. I did not mean to do that, dude. I just scrolled my mouse down and I looked at chat. But I mean, maybe a better opportunity will, will show up, you know? Maybe it's for the best. To being a difficult artist, the best of us are. There's gonna be another opportunity. There's gonna be another opportunity. So, now that you've grown your wings... Oh God, I need to... Yeah, I need to blink so badly. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Tony, Tony, stop. Is that a? Oh shit! Oh, they, are. I think it they is. know, dude. They places. know. Huh? <laughs> that was cool, dude. There's gonna be another opportunity. Watch this, Chad. There's gonna be another one. Yay! Look at that. There's something else. Whoa. What's happening? I bet you're happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. Woo! <laughs> Look at that, dude! Is the single most important moment in your entire oh, career. Collectors, curators, how we all love a rising star, and how bored we become once it's settled. Keep rising, Benjamin. Nice, dude. Let's go, man. Let's go. I told you, chat, there'll be another opportunity. God damn it. I'm going to be fine. Okay? So don't even worry about calling me back. Just let you know. Or she wants me to, obviously. Okay, Benji. I love you. Shit, can I call back? No! <laughs> but that's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Oh, Her. fuck yeah. Magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Damn it, dude. Benny? You ready to come up here? I was going to answer in the last second. Because I realized, you know. But then it was too late. Go on, B. Say something. What's wrong? Hey, you. Why aren't you talking? Oh, you poor girl. That's a hey, nice you, portrait, dude. As you know, I talk to big, don't get emotional. very important people. Stay strong. Every day. And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brent? And what am I supposed to say? Oh, fuck. I haven't fuck. heard from my star pupil in six months? Six months. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. Yo, lazy. Thank you. Hey, you. You're a fraud. But worst of all, Benjamin, you're a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard oh, at work God. creating his greatest work yet. But you are doing nothing! The world has forgotten you, Benjamin! They have moved Death on! Death people happy. And I'm gonna mute them. Just I have up. moved on too. You have broken my heart. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. Then I just find myself breaking down again. Stay strong. 
Take whatever you want. <laughs> With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> yeah, I think you did the right thing. Keep. By about. the way, Keep. she didn't want you to see her like that. Keep the metronome. He just wanted the memory. you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? Fishman. Must stay strong so I don't accidentally blink. <laughs> I like that. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to blink there, but that was a good one anyways. Anything else? <laughs> Fuck, don't get emotional, man. <laughs> Fuck. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with me. Do you know how hard that is? <sighs> okay, can I chill here? Okay. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Inspired by the musical composition of his late is mother. That, is that really you? It, it's Chloe. What? Your neighbor. Oh shit. My god, I can't believe this. It's been years. I, I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, <laughs> I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. No, why does and that cancel? Mom, the... Okay. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. The boat. <gasps> hey, Halloween so paints? not to be forward, oh. <laughs> but uh, what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? Let's go. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Oi, oi. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. Nothing here. Oh, I tried so hard not to blink when the dad was there, man. It was so hard. You finally hit the jackpot, Slapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! -ho -ho. Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I had realized, I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, internationally renowned painters? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right. The proper composition. If you catch my drift. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. You play as the right. guy, yeah. You're, You're watching your life. How your life has been. Gay this guy fished you up. Before you stands the soul of These a are souls. great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid? Yay, happiness. Or a lonely one? Happy, happy, happy. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And, uh, what'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? Composer. She composer. 
His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Shit, maybe you have right or wrong answers here. I guess How he would was. How you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging oh, or demanding? Oh, fuck yeah. Kind of like your champion. Oh, I mean, she was or, very or more demanding. More like a taskmaster. Damn, yeah, obviously he's lonely, but I was thinking, yeah, fuck. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Still happy, though. Still happy. Uh, yeah, she was demanding. Yeah. Let's... Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. Yeah, that's what happened. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Friend. Was she your best friend? Oh, or first or your love. Your first love. Nah, first be love, honest, dude. dude. Uh, it's first love, man. Don't be bashful. Laying man, on the beach in the me. night, stay here, you know. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. It wasn't meant anyways. It wasn't meant. Now, from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? Yeah, artist. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you dumb dolls, you muckfowls. <laughs> I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. Hmm. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. <clears throat> You're a flea-bitten sap, you know that? Just look at him. Hopefully he doesn't know what he's in for. Oh, God. Yeah, in the toy boat. Yeah, of course. Now, don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. 
And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Oh. Uh, this ain't a schoolyard staring contest, buddy. Now you best close those beady little eyes of yours before we run out of time. Not this. Shit. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? Do you remember how to play that one? I don't... Oh, damn it, I got baited. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of it. This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? What is that thing in the bottom? What is that? Just don't blink, I guess. it hello yes of course this is l his daughter <gasps> oh shit yeah oh oh see she knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations and now she never could yeah let's keep going okay with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Dr. Let's move. <laughs> what did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, I, I went to the door here, but I guess I didn't do it enough. Or maybe you can't, yeah, I don't know. Well, something's gonna happen now though. I don't know if I'm allowed to blink here or not. This is like uh, just a metron, like, I don't know, timer. I'm not blinking though in case, but. Well, shit. Yeah. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. But simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. All right, because she's cheap there. I like hanging out with you a lot. Stay. It's weird because stay? after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. I know you want to stay here, man, but we don't have the time. So this has been a big Stop. surprise. Stop. Stop here. about 
who you are, Benny. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny. I heard it. Focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Sometimes you gotta take a little talk to him. Keep your eyes open. I need to see. Oh, yeah, so you, okay, yeah. Sometimes you gotta take a little talk to him. I really don't want him to hear us talking about this. I mean, what's the point? What's the point? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. What's the point? What does that mean? I can't see anything. What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Can I open okay? my eyes? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I'd... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon, at the top of your lungs. <laughs> you were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. You know what to do. Go ahead and blink. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. But mom. Oh. Oh. Try writing with it. Oh. Hi, mom. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's a story I want to hear. Hmm. Story of who you're going to become, okay?
Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? <laughs> oh, here I am. <laughs> but on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. <laughs> first love? Okay, Benny. I didn't blink there, nope. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. Oh shit, we're getting brain scan. No, I was itching. Knock back. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know, I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Read it! Do it! I have no option, so... I can't. Go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just... Not right now. Okay, don't worry. Go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that oh. Mom loved your story. She's just... I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> Certainly glad you feel. No! Oh, God. Uh. If he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button, and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one.
Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Oh. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know. Oh, I didn't realize that would put the phone down. I wanted to see what it was. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. Not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected. And she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And just her little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. How did you figure out how to play that? Oh, that was fast. Oh. Keep playing, B. She's listening. I, I swear I did not blink. I swear, dude. I was chilling. I swear, man. Uh, can I ignore taking the drugs? Oh. just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. What? What? I think she more than deserves it. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. 
Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Can I choose to not take this? Get well soon. Be brave, Benny. Oh. Oh, 29 missed calls. No. Oh, it's not a mistake. Oh my god, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. And how I reacted to it. And I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. But... Hey! What are you looking at? <laughs> Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. Can I do the rest? Oh, I saw it appear. Hello. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. Oh. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Can I open? Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my first love. Love co No! Fuck! Oh, I got emotional, dude. Yo, look at the cursor. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again. Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. Uh, we saw her letter, though, before I blinked. We were both first loves. Any phone?
It's okay, Benny. I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. No, Richard. It's like I can't breathe. Like there's this clamp on my chest. I know. It's okay. You can come back to me now. You have to do something, Richard. I can't breathe. I feel like I can't breathe. It's okay, Benny. Just close your eyes. You know, for a while now, Whoa. I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Anonymous, there you are. Thank you so Watch much. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Strong. Can't blink, man. That's a... There she is. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper! Before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. I can blink, yeah. My only issue was... Well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you. Which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called <sighs> The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home, to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had, how he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise, how he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again, and how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. A full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Just as he was. She 
accepts. <sighs> Close your eyes now. That was rough. Keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Why is he Go smiling on. like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Mom was uh, sitting in the end. I got so, <laughs> I got so emotional, dude. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, I didn't know if I could blink or not, so I could just feel everything just pouring down, and it was fucking. <laughs> it was so rough, dude. so good. 